Hey, and welcome. Kimberly Castleberry here with JustAskKim.com. And today I want to take you on a walkthrough of setting up a contact form for your WordPress blog. Now, there's a variety of pages that WordPress blogs need, and a lot of them are very unsexy. Things like your About page, things like your Contact page, and things that Google insists upon, such as your Privacy Policy, Terms of Service, and things like that. Things that you might otherwise be inclined to skip if you didn't realize that Google insists upon them, and they're necessary for protecting the data of your visitors. Now, today we're going to cover setting up a contact form, and we're going to use a very common, very stable plugin called Contact Form 7. We're going to use that in conjunction with another little plugin called Really Simple Captcha that adds a very e a relatively easy to read captcha field to this contact form to minimize the amount of spam you're going to get through it. We're using this combination because it has a long track history of success in the WordPress community. It's very stable, it doesn't tend to interact with stuff, and you know you're going to want to make sure that you test it to make sure it's working, but generally speaking it's got a high performance rate for most people without having a lot of overhead. So let's jump into setting this up. Now I am here on a test blog and let me move the camera box and here I'm going to go to my WordPress dashboard and in my WordPress dashboard I'm going to go to plugins add new. Now within plugins add new we're going to go to the search and in the search we're going to type in contact form and the number seven as three words. And I'm going to click search and it comes up. It's the first one. You want the default one. It says exactly contact form seven. It's made by Takayuki Mayoshi. I probably just mutilated that name. Apologies to the creator. And click install now. And we're going to install this and we're going to activate it. And on the next page that comes up, it's going to show us that it's activated. So we're going to click on add new again. And in Add New, we're going to type in Really Simple Captcha, R-E-A-L-L-Y, Simple Captcha, C-A-P-T-C-H-A. -C we're going to click Search, and the search is going to come back for us as soon as my internet catches up. And we're going to click Install Now next to the one by the same author as the prior plugin. These work hand in hand together and you're going to need the CAPTCHA plugin if you want to use CAPTCHA with this form. I highly recommend it because the form is a very basic, very standard form that web bots can fill out relatively easily. And so without some form of CAPTCHA, you're going to get more spam than you know what to do with. All right, so I've got those two both installed and activated. Now on the left hand side, I'm going to come down under settings. In the next little section, I have a link that says contact. We're going to click that to enter the contact field. For, or excuse me, to enter the settings field for the contact form. Now here I am at the top, and here's the short code. But first we've got to set the short code up. We already have contact form one. We, we don't need to click add new unless we need a second different contact form. So this is going to be our first main contact form. That's what we're going to set up today. I'm going to come down to the form itself. And here I see that by default I have your name, and a field, a little short code that says your name, and then I have your email required, and a field, little cap, a little short code that says your email, and subject, and a field for subject, and your message, and text, and P, and submit. Okay, this would by itself be enough, but we want to go ahead and we want to add the captcha fields. Now I know this can be a little confusing, so just kind of bear with me. I'm going to walk you through setting this. I'm going to click on generate tag, and under tag, I'm going to select captcha. And the tag here, the CAPTCHA is for CAPTCHA, we have CAPTCHA 420. And we don't generally need to set any of these others unless we really want to specify something. All we need down here is these two short codes. One is for the image and one is for the input field. Okay, so we have to look at this form and decide where we want the image and input field to go. Well, generally speaking, they go after the message and before the submit button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the copy the little bit of code that is for the header for the text box and for the message itself. Okay, so that I have two copied. I'm going to copy those and I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to add a couple little bit of white space and I'm going to paste them back in. Now, if you did this, you'd have your subject, subject, your message, message, your subject, subject, your message, message. But I'm going to use these so that you didn't have to write any code. So in the first one, I'm going to put where I'm going to replace subject, and I'm going to say, please 
Oops, what do I want to do here? Please enter the value of this be this image below. Okay, so please enter the value of this image below. And then there's this BR tags that I left. Now I'm going to take text your subject. I'm going to replace that with the short code for the CAPTCHA, for the CAPTCHAR CAPTCHA. So this is the one for the image. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to replace that in here and paste it in. There we're good. Now the next one says, it originally says your message, but we're going to say enter the CAPTCHA value here. Okay. And for input field, we're going to get this. This is the CAPTCHAR CAPTCHA 420. And I'm going to replace that. And so now I have your name, your email, subject, your message, into the value of this below, into the CAPTCHA value here, and the submit key. Okay, this looks like a pretty decent form. That's about what we would want from our form. So the next thing I want to do is to make sure I find the save button, which is all the way up here at the top right. And on the top right, I'm going to click save. And you're going to do that. And it's going to say contact form saved. Okay. Now we're going to take this contact form short code. So this short code here, we're going to copy that. Now we're going to go to pages and we're going to make a new page. And in make a new page, we're going to type a title, contact me. You could just say contact. Let's do contact. You could do contact us. You could do um, reach us. You could do, you know, give us a shout, whatever you want to do there. But make it something semi-standard so that people know what they're looking at when they get a hold of it. Let me expand that down. I've got the browser a little short here. Okay, so I have this page, and you can see it's got a bad permalink. I haven't set that up yet. That's okay. Not a big deal. This is just a test blog. Don't worry about that. And I'm going to click over to the HTML tab. Okay, and I'm going to paste in this contact form 7 short code here. And I'm going to save draft, and I'm going to preview. And when I preview, it's going to load a preview here. And I can see we have a contact form. There's your name, your email, your subject, your message, a relatively easy to read CAPTCHA, and a box for the CAPTCHA code to go in, and a send button. Now, you should look at this form and decide if there's anything around here that you want to add. Okay, you should decide if you need to add anything like to this, this name, to this your email, to subject if you want to, to write anything additional here. If you do, you're going to want to go back into the setup for the form itself, and you're going to want to add that there. Now, you can also come here, stay in the HTML tab. I'm going to duplicate that so I have my P tags. And you can say, we look forward to hearing from you. Okay, so if I do that, that's going to put the we look forward to hearing from you above the contact form. See how this works? We've got a really nice, really functional contact form here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to publish. And we have a couple more steps yet, so bear with me. Okay, we've published the page. We can view the page and come out here. I'm going to copy the URL of the page because we're going to need that in a second. And you can see we got our form working. Now we need to do two things. The one thing that we need to do first is to put this in the menu bar because it's not there. Now, depending on your theme, it may already be there. Some themes have the thing where they, they force pages into the menu bar unless you specifically exclude them or whatnot. But any of the newer themes that are using the WordPress 3.0 menus, you're going to want to add this to your menu system. So we're going to take care of that real quick. We're going to go to Appearance, Menus, and in Menus, we're going to see that we're currently using the primary menu. So I'm going to click over to that, and in the primary menu, once that opens, Okay, here we got a bunch of stuff going on, but we're just going to come down to, here's pages, and you would scroll down until you found your form. There's your contact page, name of the page, and click Add to Menu. Okay, now I'm going to drag this all the way to the top just because I want it to be up where you can see it real easy, okay? So I drag this in the menu. So there is our contact page. We can name it anything we want if we wanted to name it differently while it's in the menu. If you named it something long, you're going to want to use something short in the menu. That looks good. We're going to click Save Menu. Make sure you save your menu before you move on. So I'm going to come back to the front end of the blog. I'm going to refresh this. 
and what you're going to see is that it's been added. Okay, so now we have contact in the menu. Now one more thing that we want to do is we want to do test name, test email, whoops, test email at email dot test email dot com, email test dot com, and test subject, test message. Okay, and we're going to do eight Z R H. Now by default, this is routed to send to the email address that is the main email address on your blog. That is set up in your settings for your blog. So let me go into that real quick before I send that. If you come into settings, come into general, and here in general, you'll see an email address. This is the email address that belongs to the blog itself, where things like this are going to go. It's not going to come to the email that's on your personal profile for the blog. It's going to come to this email address. So we got to know that that's where we're going to go check. Now I'm going to come back to the form. I filled that out. Oops. I'm going to click send. And you see a little box here that says your message was successfully sent. So now I'm going to come back to my Gmail account and I'm going to refresh my page and in Gmail I have test name, test subject, from test and it's all there. That is exactly what I wanted. This contact form is working. That is how you set up a very nice, very simple little contact form for your WordPress blog. This helps get you not only compliant with Google, but also giving people a way to reach you. This extends your professionalism and is really a very important part of your blog. So you're going to want to go ahead and do this. Don't, don't put this on a back burner because this is an important piece of the professionalism of your blog. And then once you've got that in place, then you definitely want to look at things like terms of service, privacy policy, about pages, other things that build out your blog. Don't skimp on all the important pages that are an important part of setup of your site. As you can see, Contact Form 7 is really easy to use. It's really stable too. I know you're going to enjoy it. Take a moment, leave me some feedback. Let me know if you have any trouble at all. I'm glad to answer questions if you got anything. Kimberly Castleberry with JustAskKim.com and I'll talk to you soon.